how to use an oxygen tank. For everyone that's never used one of these before, this is how we get air on the go. Now, these are pretty standard here. This particular tank is a, a size D, which at two liters would give you approximately 3.3 hours. One liter, approximately six hours. Approximate. And these are the thing is with the tanks, the tips can go bad at times. I always warn everybody when they go out, check your tanks and always carry a spare. And if something is wrong, if there's half or empty, which should be rare, but what if it does happen, you'd want to mark the tank and notify your providers so they can open this up and fix it. You don't want to get another one down the road. Now, essentially when you see one of these tanks with the white tag, it's full. So, let's check this out. Actually, that just slipped right off. Sometimes the wet tape is tighter than others. But that's fine. Usually, just take a little knife or pen or something, just flick it off. Now, essentially, essentially, excuse me, there's uh, two little holes right here where the pins will go through, through. And there's a big hole right here where the oxygen comes out and the washer affixed to. On the other side, there's a little divot here which the handle will drill into. And then this part on the top, which we're going to open up the wrench to let the air out. Now, there's our standard regulator here. Gauge on here goes from empty to full. Your tanks are pressured at about 2,000 psi. You'll see goes from the green into the red when it's empty. So, let's put this bad boy on. Now, it's easier if I can put it so you can see it. Excuse me. Drop this on. Now, as I bring it back up, you're going to feel that go on. Now let me say though, before we do put this on and get this started, there's a little green and blue, excuse me, not green, it's blue and gold washer right there in the middle. You can kind of see it there. It's also on my wrench. You see those on the end. Occasionally these will go bad. Sometimes it'll be a month, sometimes it'll be a year. It really depends on how much use you're getting on the tanks and how hard you are on them. Truly, I've got some people that can easily go a year between washers, but everybody learns with time. It takes time, but you'll get it. Okay, let's get this started. Let's see how it's done. We're going to put the regulator on, and now as I bring it back up, the pins are going to go right into the hole. These pins right here are going to go into the hole washer is fixed right up to the hole where the air is coming out. We're going to drill the handle in. Real easy. Snug. Good decent little grip but not a bear grip. We want it snug. Now the way we're going to know if we have it too tight is when I open this up if you start to hear hissing it's not tight enough essentially or it's too tight and you've stripped the washer. It sounds difficult but it's really not. You just you start it by getting it good and snug and you go from there. Now to open this, I always tell my customers, if you're looking at the tank, you push away from you. Oh, I can hear a little air. There we go. That just meant I had to tighten it up a little bit more. But essentially, yes, you'll push away from you. And it's open and ready to go, approximately a turn. Now to close it back up, you're going to pull it back towards you. At that point, this would still be showing in the green because it's a full tank, but this is not coming out. The only thing that would come out of this would be the air in the regulator because we've closed off the tank up here. But if we push it back open and we open it up, now the whole tank can drain through this point right here. This is where your cannula is going to connect. and then. They're all basically the same. They all have a dial on here. Zero through, some go up to eight, some go up to 15. You don't want to go any higher than your doctor's prescribed liter flow. 
Too much oxygen can do bad things. Too little is bad. Too much can be really bad. So, very easy. Tanks open. You hear that running. Your liter flow, say at two liters, which I have this one right now, it's coming out. See that? You're off and you're ready to run. Let's turn that off. You're at the doctor's office. Say they put you on their oxygen. You turn it off because you want to conserve air. Close this up just in case somebody bumps it because even in a half a liter in a couple hours, that's going to be some significant loss. We don't want any loss. We want to be able to get every bit out of it we paid for. So that's it in a nutshell. How to use your oxygen tank or how to use an oxygen tank. And I'm Frank, your oxygen guy. Come back and join us soon. More videos. Subscribe, like, join us.